I'll find it. Danny and I played ball, then watched TV. We fought a little over what we should see. Then my mother called us to grab a bite, and after Danny left, she came to say good night. I asked my mother if she knew where's the ball. She said we lost it. She couldn't find it at all. Danny once told me about a special kind of place. It's called I'll Find It, where things disappear without a trace. How would we get there? By foot or by bike? Maybe with a ship, or he will simply hike. I asked him at school if he knew that isle. He said he'll search his map every inch and mile. The next day he told me it wasn't there, even though he looked for it everywhere. I said, I think it's where things disappear, a ball, a shirt, a pencil, and things we hold dear. Perhaps we all need a secret map to find. Is this isle a real place, or is it just in our mind? Danny agreed that we need to start an investigation. He was a very smart detective. We'll find that location. We asked all our friends, each and every one. We looked in the hall for clues, but found none. We asked our science teacher if she knew. She was the smartest. She'll know what to do. But recess was over, so we couldn't ask. Besides, we were tired. Exploring is a hard task. We'll continue searching every book and list. Then tomorrow decide if the isle did exist. As I walked home in my mind's eye, I imagined a ship sailing under the blue sky. I'm the captain. My crew loves the sea. We sail night and day. We sail with glee. With a map in hand stamped with a skull and sword, we'll find that isle and our most treasured reward. We see the isle with toys and all sorts of treats, even the dog's neighbor and lost balls and sweets. Each child takes what was lost and now found, and there's plenty of happiness all around. At dinner, I asked my big sister Sharon about the isle. She laughed and said she'd look in a little while. Have you heard of I'll Find It? I asked Mom. She replied softly. What do you mean, hon? I explained that is where all the lost things go. And we couldn't find it, so perhaps she would know. That place sounds suspicious, Mom replied. An isle where lost things go to hide. But you know, honey, if you really try to look around, under, behind, and up high, perhaps if you search every corner, here and there, if you search at home, your room, under the stairs, then you will see I'll find it is right here. It is in some distance isle. It's pretty near. When you tidy your room, put your books away, collect all your toys when you finish to play. You might see that the ball is under your chair. Your jacket is at school. You left it there. Your lollipop is in your belly. You ate already. And what's under the bed? That's your teddy. If you remember where you leave your stuff without me having to say, clean up, enough. Or who did you give your ball? Which girl or boy? Where did you leave your hat or your toy? Then you will always know where your things are. You won't have to go on a voyage or sail somewhere far. When you tidy up, organize everything around, you'll realize I'll find it is already found. Music